and welcome back to Allie in his kitchen where today we're going to be making a Halloween hot chocolate. This hot chocolate is so delicious and full of Nutella as well as we will be making some spooky ghosts out of whipped cream as well as some chocolate fats. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to start making today is our whipped cream ghosts because these take a little time to set up in our fridge. I also want to mention before you do anything, about 20 minutes before you decide to do this, throw your mixing bowl as well as the beater in the freezer. It just lets it come together a bit quicker and it keeps it nice and cool, especially on a hot day like this. You want everything to be cool. So today I'm using two cups of heavy cream and I'm just going to add this in. I'm lift this up, make my job a little easier. Get every last drop that's always my mentality on it and then i'm also going to be adding in one and a half teaspoons of sugar as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extract okay and now we're just going to blend this together on a high speed for about two to four minutes or until stiff peaks form now let's start making our whipped cream ghosts so the first thing I did is just took a piece of parchment paper and I drew circles on it, which are the size of the glass I'll be using for my hot chocolate. And one thing I wanna note is when you're outlining the circle, don't go on the line, go inside of it because you don't want it to be exactly the size of it, that would not fit. And I'm also using a piping bag to do this and I have a circular nozzle on it. Now that our ghosts are chilling in the freezer, we can start on our chocolate fat. So these bats are super easy to make, which I love, and it's just with a few ingredients. So one thing I'm using today is these mini Reese's Pieces cups, as well as some Oreos as my bat's wings, as well as some little eyeballs to stick on top. And the last thing I'm using as the glue to keep everything together is just some chocolate that I've melted. So now let's make one. So now to make my bat wings, all you do is separate your cookie like so and you take your knife and cut it in half. I do recommend using a sharp knife so you get some clean edges. Now that you've cut your bat's wings, you can move on to your mini Reese's pieces. So what you're going to want to do is take one bat wing and put a little bit of chocolate on it and then press it into your Reese's pieces. Do this for both wings and then you can take your little eyeballs and put a little bit of chocolate on the back of them and press them at the bottom of your wings. And aren't they so cute? I absolutely love these. Now on to our final step, making our Nutella hot chocolate. I am a huge fan of hot chocolate. For me, it really makes you feel fall. So I'm excited to have a glass today, even though it's very hot outside right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add in our milk and today I have two cups of whole milk and I'm just going to cook this on about medium heat until it gets nice and hot and you start to see the steam rising from it. Now that our milk is hot we can add in the rest of our ingredients. So today I have just one tablespoon of sugar that I'm going to be adding in as well as you can have a Nutella hot chocolate without the Nutella. So today I have one heaping tablespoon of Nutella. And now we also have one tablespoon of cocoa powder. All right. And now we're just gonna whisk this together for about two minutes until it starts to bubble and everything is fully mixed in and combined. Okay, and our hot chocolate is done. I recommend trying it at this point, seeing if you wanna add any more Nutella or sugar. But for me, I find this is the perfect amount. So now I can have my hot chocolate. So I'm just gonna ladle it into my cup and try not to make a mess because I always tend to do that. Now that our hot chocolate is done, we can add on our spooky ghosts and our bats. So let's do this, I'm excited. I'm using a spatula today to pick up my ghost because it's not completely hard yet and I don't want it to get squished. All right, let's put her in. Ooh. And now let's pop on one of our bats. Here we have our super cute ghost and bat hot chocolate. 
And now the best part, getting to taste it. Oh no, I'm spilling. That's natural, I always spill something. Mmm, that's so good though. I love using Nutella because you get that little kick of hazelnut in the hot chocolate. And with that fresh whipped cream, it's so delicious. I absolutely love this. And I think it's nice and Halloween-y, which I absolutely love. And here we have our little bat. <laughs> I just want to say a happy Halloween to everyone and if you haven't figured it out, I actually wanted to be a cheetah but then I checked the, the costume I got and it's a leopard so I'm a leopard. Um, so please let me know what you guys are thinking about doing for Halloween in the comments down below and if you try my Halloween hot chocolate. If you are as big of a fan of hot chocolate as I am, there should be a playlist right here or over here of all of my hot chocolates. I have some boozy ones as well as some kid-friendly ones. So go check them out. And I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Happy Halloween.